Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you my HyperX Quadcast settings that will take your microphone sound to the next level using Sonar. If you remember, we covered this topic on a few months back, but since then, Sonar has received some fantastic updates, including more detailed EQs options. Now, it's important to remember that these settings I'm about to share are just a start point. As we all have unique voices and preference, feel free to tweak them accordingly. Also, it's highly recommended to use a pop filter to this mic, but since I'm not using, my settings doesn't require. So without any more delay, let's jump in right into Sonar and get it started. All right, right here in Sonar, you are hearing this microphone without any cue, any compressor, anything uh, to enhance this microphone. This is just the way the microphone sounds when you plug it into the computer and that's it. And you can actually hear if I type anything and my keyboard is not that loud as well. So even though this microphone pick it up everything, so it's very important to put in a compressor, which we'll be going to put it in on Sonar as well. You can notice as well here in the top right hand side that I have toggle on stream mode. This is, this is a new update that Sonar just released a couple months ago. I think it was maybe two months ago at uh, the time I'm recording this video uh, for uh, streaming and also uh, divide your outputs and inputs uh, to your stream. It's basically is very similar to Wavelink Elgato and it works very well. And we're going to be also making a video with more details on this uh, side of the program, the software, uh, with my settings that I use it. So stay tuned, we're gonna do a video and you don't wanna miss that one. So let's go right now to the mic tab right here. And this is where uh, I'm going to share my settings and and the way it was uh, actually uh, sound on the beginning of this video. So the first thing I want to point it out is the ClearCast AI noise cancellation is a powerful compressor that makes this microphone really um, not able to pick it up much environment depending on what your uh, environment it could pick it up a little bit more than mine because everybody have a different settings set up and rooms to uh, to record or to uh, live stream so when I'm gonna toggle, toggle this on right here you can see that you're going to realize that you can it, it doesn't pick it up any much sound I am typing right now It may pick it up a little bit, but way way less than uh, if you not talk that on. My settings on this microphone right now is being basically uh, um, probably in the middle right here, 50%, but nothing else in the bottom here are being used for this microphone. Now, I'm gonna toggle my equalizer at once so you can see the difference, and I'm going to go, I'm gonna go ahead with the numbers that I put it in here. So now is this microphone is with all the equalizer. Just go ahead and copy all those settings that I'm showing right right here right now one by one. Just to remind it that this is basically AIA settings for my type of voice. I mean like you can have the same settings and just tweak it the way you want. Um, and uh, it will probably give you a good start from what you want to achieve it to enhance this microphone. So this is also the new update, the equalizer. You can tweak so much on those settings right here on this microphone. And also this program here can enhance basically any microphone as well. So the fantastic thing about it, you can use this as well to any software that you wanted to use it. Um, as long as you put as a sonar as the uh, the output for your uh, software as a mic main microphone, it will pick it up all these equalizations that you just did on this microphone or any microphone that you wanted to use it. So there you have it, the updated EQ settings for this microphone as right now. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments below, letting me know if this was helpful to you. And if you are interested in seeing more microphones enhancements using this software in our upcoming videos, just let me know as well on the comments below. Thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video.